Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is day six of the daily vlogs during June. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about automation. I'm going to give you my strategy and what I do use for automation. But we're also going to talk about my to-do list from yesterday, what I got done, what I didn't get done, and I'm going to share with you what I want to get done for Friday. All right, so let's start off by talking about automation. I use Posh Sidekick. I have not been quiet about that. You all know that I 100% am behind Posh Sidekick. They have been fantastic for me and my business. I love the fact that they keep coming out with new features. They keep allowing us to do more things with our business, and I love that about them. Some people will say it's too expensive. I can't afford, you know, the $30 US that it costs. I sort of think about it as it's a dollar a day. If you're Canadian, that's maybe a dollar forty a day, a dollar fifty a day. But even still, with Sidekick, I don't have to share my closets, and I have two closets. I don't have to send out offers to every single time. Every single time somebody likes an item, all taken care of for me. I don't have to relist. I have it set up that I relist. I think it's ten or eight a day as long as they're over 60 days old so that's done for me I do go in and tweak it because I want to you know change up the listing a little bit um, I don't use their white background because I use photo room I have not used the cross listing service as of yet but we'll see about that and they do have a feature where they do closet clear out for you again I haven't tried that I hear it's pretty good because it actually automatically raises the prices back up after the six hours is done, which is amazing. Closet clear it isn't something that I actually utilize on Poshmark. I don't do a ton of closet clear out. It just doesn't seem to work for me and my business. So I don't know. Um, I love my automation because I don't want to do those tasks. I absolutely dislike sharing. I think it's one of those piddly little jobs that Poshmark makes us do because they don't have a lot of respect for us. I don't know why I feel that way, but that's the way I feel about it. And I like the fact that I don't have to do it anymore. Even though I have been manually sharing, or I did last week, I shared my US closet a few days, I shared it manually instead. And I did that just to shake up the algorithm, just to do something a little bit different to see if it would make a difference. And Posh US has woken up for me and I don't know, it could be a combination of a whole bunch of things, but I do think that helped. Just going in once in a while and changing it up, I think does help. I changed my speed of my share on Posh Sidekick from fast to medium once in a while. I turn off my offers to likers once in a while so that one morning I can turn it on and a whole bunch of offers go out. I play with it because I think it's important to change it up a little bit. I am all for automation. Automation will not, 100% will not guarantee you sales. That's not what it's there for. If you have a bad item, no matter how many offers you send out, how many times you relist it, how many times you share it, it's not going to sell if nobody wants it. So at the end of the day, you still have to do your job and get the items that are selling. And then automation will help you to sell those items. You're not going to sell a bad item, no matter what automation is out there. And I keep seeing on Facebook groups that people keep saying things like, oh, I've done my free trial on Posh Sidekick. I didn't get any sales. What's up with that? It's your items. It's not the service. It's what you are listing or how you are listing. It's still really important to make sure you have great photographs make sure you have keywords in your title and your description you have measurements you have a whatever and all this stuff still has to be done in order for the service to work for you so always keep that in mind this is a little pet peeve of mine when people say oh you know i've got this service and it's not getting me sales it's like that's not what it's there for it's there to free up your time so you don't have to do those silly little tasks. That's what it's there for. So you can source better, so you can list better, so you can take better photographs. And you're not, you know, crazy with time. So remember that. Like I said, I do play with my automation. I turn it off, I turn it on, I change up my offers, I change up the speed, I do a whole bunch of things, and I 
that's what I think really helps me to kickstart stuff and get things going. And right now, it's the sixth day of June, and so far June is turning out to be really, really good, knock on wood. Okay, that being said, what did I, I say I was going to get done today? Today is Thursday. Thursday is typically a day I go to the Cross Border Shipper. Paul actually came with me today, which was really cool. We went to the, we went to the bins and grabbed a couple of things, nothing major, but a couple of things I'll show you tomorrow. Um, we went to the Cross Border Shipper, was great. We picked up a package that was delivered for our ninja, our ninja foodie, which we got, um, which I'm excited to try. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we went to my favorite Goodwill in Strathroy. Didn't pick up a ton there. I picked up a really cute Kate Spade dress, which I'll show you again tomorrow. Uh, we came home. I had to get some groceries done. We went and did a couple other errands. That was my day. It was a really, really long day. I know that I said I was going to list seven items. I ended up listing only five, but you know what? At least that's five. So I'm happy with that. Everything else is almost drafted. It's sort of half drafted right now, meaning that photos are up, the templates are done. So tomorrow I will be listing everything that is left. I think I have seven to list. I also want to spend some time doing some tweaking of the read lists that I haven't been doing this week. So I want to go in and everything that's sort of just listed from the relist, I want to go in and check the prices, change around the titles, maybe add some words, things like that. <coughs> and tomorrow I think I want to photograph some hard goods. You can sort of see a little bit down here. I have a pile behind me of things that need to get listed for eBay, photographed and then listed. I don't know about getting them listed, but I want to get them photographed tomorrow and get them sort of out of from behind me and get them done. Um, I also want to get a head start on my housework tomorrow because it's been a while and I need to vacuum. So whether I do that tomorrow or I combine it with Saturday, I'm not sure. But that's what I have planned for tomorrow besides filming as well. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic Thursday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.